Hey, how y'all doing out there this evening? Just want to drop my opinion on the ZTE Exxon 7. Now, understand this phone came out in 2016, so it's quite a few years old. But this phone is an awesome phone. And whether you want to use it for a backup or main phone, it's still a good phone to get. Now, let's just let me just run down the things that this phone has and you decide for yourself now you could find this phone on ebay i've seen it on ebay for as low as like 120 bucks 135 i mean but this phone is a good quality phone just listen to me all the specs on this phone now when this phone first came out it was 400 bucks now like i said it you can get it for just a little over 100 this phone comes with a snapdragon 820 processor it has a five inch five inch 5x5 five five inch quad HD display was a, with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 AMOLED display. Okay. Gorgeous display on this phone. Gorilla Glass 4 on the front. Has a 20 megapixel camera on the rear. Now, also, I just failed to, to mention PPI, pixels per square inch. This phone has 538 pixels per square inch that is a lot of pixels <laughs> so i'm telling you the screen is gorgeous all right now you have an eight megapixel front camera on the front okay you can record in 4k at 240 frames per second now the one of my favorite parts of this phone this phone has dual front facing speakers here and up here at the top, like literal grills that go across the front top and the front back. I mean, the front top and the front bottom, I'm sorry, excuse me. With Dolby Atmos, okay? Excellent, excellent speakers. They sound great, okay? This phone also comes with Qualcomm's 3.0 fast charge, which they say you can charge your phone from zero to to 50% charge in 30 minutes. Now that's fast. That's impressive. Okay. It has a 3250 non removable milliamp battery. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and it has the Me Favor UI on it. Now I don't care for their UI. So I use Nova Launcher because Nova Launcher has, you know, more options. And I just like the way it looks a little better than Me Favor. I don't really care for it all that much. Okay, it also comes with 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, and it has expandable memory up to over 256 gigs. So you could put a, a memory card in here up to 256 gigs. That's awesome. Okay. It also has a fingerprint, fingerprint scanner on the rear. Now, the fingerprint scanner is not great, but it's, it's good. It works. But it's not as accurate as it could be. Now, when it is working, it works very fast. Also, you can put a pin in. doesn't have facial unlock, but you can put a pin in. You could also do a pattern. You could also do a password. So those are the options you can use, you know, to um, lock and unlock your phone. Now, once again, this phone, when it came out, was $400. You could get this phone practically new use refurbished or whatever open box for less way 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 less than two hundred dollars now i seen one brand new was over 200 i saw one was over 300 but that's a little ridiculous you know you know because it's 2016 i mean the phone came out in 2016 is 2008 2019 so for anybody to pay almost full price for this phone it's almost four years old is ridiculous so to get it for like a hundred and something is a steal. And like I said, you can use it as a backup phone to be a great backup phone. Or you can use it as a main phone. Now, my issue, why I don't use it as much anymore. I prefer bigger screens, um, you know, bigger phones. Um, I prefer, um, you know, less bezels. Now, this one, they could have did a better job. They, they should have did on screen buttons which they didn't do. Instead, they put this bezel down here and, and put these buttons at the bottom. And they have a bezel up here, which you can't see because of the wallpaper. 
But there's another thin bezel up here, which they should have just took the screen all the way to the top. And it really serves no purpose. Also here, the cutout for the front facing camera, they should have blended it in with the grill. So it wouldn't stick out like a th sore thumb like it does. And um, But for somebody that has small hands, you're not going to have a problem with handling this phone because it's a 5.5 inch screen. It's easy to handle. It has a metal build on it, so it has a very sturdy build. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with um, wireless charging if that means something to you. Everybody don't have to have wireless charging. I love wireless charging, so I prefer to have it. Um, at this point, when I got this phone, I really didn't need it. But it's something that I've gotten used to now, so I really prefer something that has wireless charging. Um, obviously, this phone doesn't have it, but um, it charges really fit really fast um the screen is excellent the speakers are just phenomenal I, it's just these are the loudest speakers on any phone that i've ever had and i've had i have the note 9 the speakers are pretty loud but i actually think the speakers on this phone are probably a little louder than my note 9 now my honor note 10 nothing messing with those speakers right now those speakers are just unbelievable but the speaker the speakers on this phone are really really great if you really want some loud quality speakers you want this phone okay and you can't beat it for the price i mean like 120 bucks 135 bucks you can't beat that price i mean and the phone really is really pretty good i mean the software is old now i'm on android nougat for some reason i didn't get oreo i have to put my sim back in there and see if it update the oreo but right now it's on nougat it still runs very fast and very fluid very smooth no problems you know in that area but it just doesn't have the latest version you're not going to get pie on here unless you um put a rom on here which you know some people know how to do some people don't know how to do but i don't you know usually do that with my phones you know if it stops updating it then you know other versions of android is fine you know i don't worry about it because i have i have phones with marshmallow on it that i still use some time and it, you know it's not a big deal to me to having the latest version of Android. It's just not. But um, to each his own. But overall, like I said, the phone is a great buy for either a backup phone or a, you know, a phone that you use on a regular basis, or, you know, a daily driver. So check this phone out. It's worth it. It's the ZTE Exxon 7. It came out in 2016, but it's still, to me, a relevant phone today. Definitely worth the money. All right. All right. Check you guys out in the next one. Peace.